Now, uh, before I get started, does anybody get offended easily or anything? Any, anybody? Okay, I mean, I can't see you for shit anyway. I can only see the front row. <laughs> and there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of you, and I only have to outrun six. So. <laughs> but no, this is, I can't believe they gave us fishbowl the way. That's, that's ridiculous. Fishbowl is the wrong name. It should be called automatic DUI. <laughs> But uh, I actually, uh, I feel bad for the uh, Maryland comics that had to come down here because if you had to come down here, you had to travel on 95. And for any commuters from here, traveling on 95 isn't very fun, especially if you're coming from north, coming down south, and you have to drive past Manassas, okay? I have a big problem with Manassas because has anybody ever been on 95 near Manassas? Yeah. Okay, this is my problem. Why is it that when you drive past Manassas, from Manassas to Woodbridge, just that small, as, as big as 95 is, why is that small piece of 95 the shittiest piece of road <laughs> that you ever, it's like a sidewalk, it's like being in Richmond for three miles, and it pisses you off too, because as you're driving through it, you're just thinking to yourself, if there is one town in Virginia that has enough Mexicans to fix this, <laughs> <laughs> Some of you look nervous laughing at that, okay? It's okay to laugh at that, because anybody that was going to get offended by it, we didn't have an ID to get in here. And that's <laughs> But they are cooking your food, so I hope you already ordered. <laughs> but uh, something else I, I don't like about this area, if you've ever been to our mall, Fredericksburg Mall, there's a big difference between our mall and other malls, and the main difference is, my favorite store is Spencer's. I like Spencer's. Do you like Spencer's? Yeah! Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty bitch. All right. <laughs> reason I like Spencer's though is because they sell sex toys, okay? They sell a lot of fun stuff, but most malls, anywhere else you go, Spencer's is always in the back, near an exit, so people can get in and out. Not Fredericksburg. Where are we gonna put up Spencer's? Uh, not just the middle, not just the middle. Let's put it right in front of the kids' playground. <laughs> As if Chris Hansen designed this shit like this. As soon as you walk out feeling like a pedophile, a kid is on the side looking at you with a, something in the bag which is coming out that looks like a fist. And, Look, mommy, they sell Hulks in there. That's not a Hulk. That's mommy's new daddy. <laughs> I do like about Fredericksburg though, if you ever go to 7-Eleven or Valero or something, you know something I really like about us is we sell, you ever seen that newspaper at the, at the cash register called Crime Times? You ever seen that? Or they might have it in Gotcha and Richmond or whatever, but they sell that and it's awesome and it's mislabeled. It shouldn't be called Crime Times. It should be called Stafford's Yearbook. <laughs> But the thing is, if you ever get a chance, get it, because it has everyone's mugshots in it the week before, and I love getting it. Not because I'm that nosy, but it's a great way to pick up women. Because <laughs> you can go ahead and message them, and, and, and they have better senses of humor about it, because I can be like, hey, um, I have noticed you got arrested for a hit and run. I don't know when to stop either. I'm Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> And the best part is I messaged a girl that got a DUI, so obviously I'm driving, so we go where I want. <laughs> but uh, one of my favorite places to go is, uh, y'all know where Outback is? Yeah, I can't afford that, but right next to Outback is a pond, okay? <laughs> and there's ducks there. And I always take a girl to go feed ducks because one, it's really cheap, and two, I learned everything I need to know about her by watching her feed ducks. Because some girls will give their bread to any duck. Some girls will give their bread to really cute ducks, or the ones that fight for it. But if I take you to feed a duck and you only give bread to those big ass black geese, <laughs> I'm probably not the one you want.
And some, something that I, I didn't like growing up, though, is when I when I grew up, we had career day. Y'all remember career day? Yeah. Or my dad's better than your dad? Or <laughs> if you're from Culpepper, someone hopefully. But they they would go around a circle, and they would ask what your dad does while you're there. And they were so uncomfortable because I didn't want to tell them my dad was a drug dealer. Like, it's uncomfortable. They said, what does your dad do, Billy? He's a firefighter. What does your dad do, Tommy? He's a police officer. What does your dad do, Stephen? He's a lawyer. What does your dad do, Kevin? Um, he's in sales. <laughs> what does he sell? You didn't ask anyone a follow-up question. Um, okay, uh, he sells to his dad, avoids his dad, and he's gonna need his dad. <laughs> and it's hard when your parents do drugs, too, because I, I didn't know my parents did drugs. I just knew they were really weird when you had the sniffles. <laughs> like my mom when she had the sniffles would clean the shit out of the place like like she was even washing paper plates <laughs> but my dad was the worst my dad because he would come up to me it'd be three in the morning and i'm asleep and he would come up to me and be like hey kevin kevin get up get up come on we're going back to practice i was like all right dad i don't know if you know what season it is <laughs> judging by the fact that we're not wearing pants i guess not <laughs> what sport are we going to practice and he would go Oh! <laughs> so we're out back and I've got my football helmet on holding a baseball bat while he's throwing basketballs at me and calling me a pussy which isn't very encouraging <laughs> or trailer park baseball for those who have played <laughs> let me ask this by round of applause who likes having sex anybody like having sex yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you gotta be louder on this part. Who likes having sex, but you like it rough? Yeah. Uh, I hear a couple dirty things. <laughs> and I got one guy clapping by himself. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> he didn't see you. You're about to be crime time. <laughs> But the reason I asked that is when I went to school, I met this girl, and she told me she liked it rough. And I was like, well, what does that mean? She said, well, you gotta smack me. You gotta talk dirty to me. You gotta pull my hair. I was like, all right, all right Rihanna. Like, <laughs> <laughs> But I wanted to get a shot, and I did. So when I went to her house, I knocked on the door. She opened it, she was like, I'll be ready in five minutes. I was like, okay. All right, make it five, you dirty bitch. <laughs> Didn't work out. It was mainly her dad's fault, though. He stopped me before I could pull her hair. I didn't get it finished. <laughs> now, I know about crime times because I was lucky enough to get featured in crime times. And yeah, it's still in my mom's fridge. She's so proud. And this is what happened. I got arrested at a place called Funland. <laughs> Okay, before you judge me, before you judge me, no, you're judging, I hear it's judging, no, not my fault, I didn't know legally you can get a DUI on a go-kart. I didn't even know they could tell I was drunk, but they pulled my naked ass right out of the car. My name's Kevin, I thank you all very much.